Here I'm asked to solve a radical equation. The first step is to isolate the radical there by adding 3. That'll leave us with the square root of x minus 2 equals negative 5. The next step is to raise both sides to the nth power. Since this is a square root, I'm going to square both sides. When you square a square root, you just left the argument there, x minus 2 equals 25. Okay, then adding 2, x equals 27. But remember, you have to check your answers here. When you square both sides, you introduce the possibility for extraneous solutions. So let's plug in 27 into the original. So 20, square root of 27 minus 2 minus 3 is supposed to equal negative 8. Square root of uh, 27 minus 2, that's uh, 25. And that equals 5 minus 3. And certainly that does not equal negative 8. Okay, so the answer that we did get, we're going to throw it away. It's an extraneous answer. So that tells me if you throw away your own solution, there is no solution to the original. The original equation is inconsistent. There is no x value I could plug in there to get negative 8.